All right, hey, welcome. Today, we are going to do some more work with systems of equations, and we're going to start really with a pretty basic concept. We look at this equation right here, 3 plus 2 equals 5. You agree? I hope so. Uh, the bottom equation, 7 minus 2 is equal to 5. Another true equation. So I've got two, two equations that are true. What I'm going to do is add them up. So I'm just going to add 3 plus 7, I get 10. Positive 2 and negative 2, they undo each other, so we end up with just 0. And on this side, we get 5 plus 5, which is 10. So the equation that we end up, by adding these two equations that are true together, we get 10 plus 0 is equal to 10, which is another true equation. Point being, if I take two equations, add them together, I get another equation that is also true. Okay? Um, 6 plus 4 is equal to 10. A very similar equation to 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. Difference is, oops, well, it is very similar, but it's not the direction I was going. If I multiply 2 times 6 and 2 times 4, I get 2 times 10. 2 times 6 is 12. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 10 is 20. Point being, if I have a true equation and I multiply every term in the true equation by the same thing, I get another equation that's also true. It turns out that this equation is just two times that one. That's maybe the thought I was going for, but we're moving forward. All right, so now on to actual equations. The method that we're using is called linear combinations. There it is, linear combinations. What we're going to do, we've got this equation, which is true. We've got that equation also true. We're just going to add the two equations together like we did back here with uh, 3 plus 2 is 5 and 7 minus 2 is 5 and see what happens. 4x plus 4x, that's 8x. 2y plus 2y, or positive 2y, negative 2y, they cancel each other out. It's 0, I'm not going to bother to write 0. 20 plus 4 is 24. 8x equals 24. 8 times what equals 24? We're not sure. We can divide both sides by 8. And we get x is equal to 3. So remember, what we're looking for when we're doing these, these linear combination systems of equations, we're looking for a value of x and y that, so that works in both equations. So we've got the x value. We need a y value. The way we get the y value is we run back to one of the original equations. I always pick the easiest one to deal with, so I try to avoid negative signs just so I don't have to worry about sign errors. And I just rewrite this. Instead of 4x plus 2y equals 20, I'm going to substitute the 3 in. 4 times 3 plus 2y equals 20. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 plus 2y is 20. We're solving this. We're going to subtract 12. Subtract 12 gives me 2y equals 8. y equals 4. We should quick check to make sure that works in the other equation. Uh, 4 times 3 minus 2 times 4. Is that equal to 4? 4 times 3 is 12. 2 times 4 is 8. 12 minus 8, I think it's 4, so we're good. So we want to make sure we have both answers, and we want to box them in so that we can see them. All right, so another problem. If we went and added these two together, we'd get another equation that has x's and y. So we don't want to do that. We need to somehow figure out how to make make a good equation out of this that's going to help us out. We're going to go back to that trick that we did in the beginning where we multiplied and got another equation that was true. I'm going to multiply. I'll do it first and then explain why later. By 2. I'm going to multiply everything by 2. And when I say everything, I mean everything by 2. Okay? This equation becomes 6x plus 4y equals 30. This equation, I'm just going to leave it alone. 5x minus 4y equals 19. You see what I did there? I now have these two numbers, the positive 4y and the negative 4y, with the same value except for opposite sides. So trying to get an, one of my terms to match up, because if they match up, when I add together, that term will drop out of the picture and be left with a nice easy equation to deal with. Watch, when I add these up, 6x plus 5x is 11x. 30 plus negative 19, or 30 minus 19, is 11. 11 times what equals 11? 1. x equals 1. Solve it. 
go to the one that's the easiest to deal with, probably this 3x plus 2y equation. 3x plus 2y equals 15. 3 times 1 plus 2y equals 15. 3 plus 2y equals 15. Subtract 3 from both sides. I'm left with 2y equals 12. Divide by 2, y equals 6. So x is 1, y equals 6. Real quick check up here. 5 times 1 is 5, minus 4 times 6 is 24. 5 minus 24 is indeed negative 19. Check, check, got it. Okay, so we multiply to try to make the, usually the y's is my preference. You can do it with the x's, but it doesn't make a difference. I'm going to try another, another one. Okay, here, things aren't going to match up. We're, we're going to have to do a little, a little extra, an extra piece on this one. Um, stop and think, what could I multiply by to make my y's have the same value? That's right, 3. So if I multiply by 3, well, that will get me almost there. We want them to have the same value, but we want one to be positive and one to be negative so that when we add them together, something drops out. So why don't we multiply by negative 3? If I do that, again, remembering to multiply everything by negative 3, I get negative 12x minus 6y equals negative 48. Bottom, I end up with the same equation I started because I did nothing to it. 3x plus 6y equals 3. Okay? So, when I add these two equations together, the 6y's drop out, and I'm left with negative 12 plus 3, which I think is negative 9x, and negative 48 plus 3 is negative 45. Divide both sides by 9, negative 9 even, I get x is equal to 5. When I have x equals to 5, I get to run back and pick whichever equation I want. Let's use the bottom one this time. Uh, 3 times 5 instead of x plus 6 times y equals 3. 3 times 5 is 15 plus 6y equals 3. Subtract 15 from both sides. It's where it gets tricky. 6y equals negative 3 minus or plus the negative 15, however way you want to go. This turns into negative 18. And then y is negative 3. Okay? Uh, quick check in the other equation. 4 times 5 plus 2 times negative 3 equals 16. Does that work out to be correct? 4 times 5 is 20. 20 minus uh oh, I've done something wrong. What have I done wrong? Mm -hmm. 4 times 5 plus 2 times negative 3. Well, there it is right there. I made that a positive 3, didn't I? So, let's get the quick eraser out. Rewind a little bit. Hopefully you caught that before I did. And that makes this... That's why we check. Okay, that's why we check to make sure that we don't make little mistakes. If it didn't work out, then we want to make sure that we uh, do something to make it work out. 3 minus 15, how about negative 12? And then y is negative 2. Now to check, and we're checking again, it doesn't matter, we'll go with the same equation just to make sure I didn't do a crazy lie. Uh, 4 times 5 plus 2 times negative 2 equals 16, I hope. 4 times 5 is 20, 2 times 2 is 4. Negative 4, 20 minus 4, well, good. And then that's 16. Yes. All right, so we've got let's put the boxes around the right answer. This is why we have erasers. This is why we check our work. How many more do we have? Ooh, that's like 17 more problems. Can you imagine? And we've got to try to do those in four minutes. Let's see if we can pick one of the better ones to deal with. This is a good one. Let's go through here. Um, we've got one positive, one negative. The numbers don't match. What do we want to do to make the numbers match? Well, in this case, we're going to have to multiply both equations by a different number. The easiest one is just, see the number here, 2? Let's hit the top one with that, and let's hit the bottom one with 3. If we do that, we know we're going to get the match, and if we have a positive and negative, it should all work out nicely. This is going to be 10x 
plus 6y equals negative 42. In the bottom, 12x minus 6y equals negative 24. Um, by the way, sometimes this, this method is called the multiply then add method. Because what we do is first we multiply, then we add. So when we add here, 22x, because we were clever, we picked the right numbers, those disappeared, left me with negative 66 on this side, divide by 22, gives me x equals negative 3. Okay, figure out what y is, which equation is going to be nice, I guess we'll go with this one on the top, 5 times negative 3 plus 3 times y equals negative 21. No matter which equation we pick, we're going to get the same y value. That's the nice part. Just pick whatever is easier to work with. Negative 15 plus 3y equals negative 21. Add 15 to both sides. I end up with negative 6. y equals negative 2. I know better than to just move on and not check it, so I'm going to do that. 5 times the other equation, isn't it? 4 times negative 3 minus 2 times negative 2. Is that equal to negative 8? Who knows? Negative 12. This is negative 4 minus the negative 4 is plus. I think we're heading towards negative 8. Good for us. Got that one. Breathe. Ready. Go. Multiply, then add. Multiply, then add. So first, what are we going to multiply by? Give me a second to think. Hopefully you're thinking, hey, 7 and 4, what we said last time. Okay, we don't multiply the top equation by whatever the bottom number is. The bottom equation by the top number, we're in. But we've got both plus this time. So we've got to make one of these negative so they drop out. doesn't matter. I'll go with that one. When I do this, I end up with 21x plus 28y equals negative 28. I end up here with 8x, negative 8x even, minus 28y, that's good, equals negative 24. Multiply, then add. We did the, add, the multiply part, now we add. 21 minus 8 is 13x. This is all negative 52. 13, 52 divided by 13, negative 4. Okay? And y equals, let's go with a, this equation. We could use one of these, but let's go with easy, simple. 2x plus 7y equals 6. 2 times negative 4 plus 7y equals 6. Uh, I'm going to add 8 to both sides. 7y equals 14. y equals 2. Okay, pause the video right here. Check this. Make sure it's right. I should do that too. 3 times negative negative 12. Negative 12 plus 8, negative 4. Check. All right. I think we can do this last one. we got 26 seconds. Um, do, 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 do. Let's see. We can make this really good. 2 times 5 is 10. Going to multiply by 5. Going to multiply by negative 5. Okay. Negative 15x minus 10y equals negative 40. Uh, 15x plus 10y equals 7. Add those together. Look what happens. Pay no attention to the beeper. It means I got about 30 seconds more. If I add these together, I get 0 plus 0 equals negative 33. So 0 is equal to negative 33. Is that ever true? That is never true. Okay, so there is no solution to this equation. If we go back to our matrices, back to our graphing equations, methods, it means the two lines are parallel. They're never going to cross. So there's no solution. Sometimes that happens. Okay? Multiply, then add. That's the method. Thanks for watching. Ask some questions. Hope you learned something.